stole from the only Episcopal Church in Michigan, established by and for African Americans. If you can believe it, they stole 99 feet of chain link fence. But just as Bill Spencer and the Call for Action team were about to replace that stolen fence, the crooks struck again, this time in broad daylight. To the Lord. For the good earth which God has given us. Standing at the podium of the historic St. Cyprian's Episcopal Church in Detroit, Pastor Donald Lutus reads from a book of prayers. The pastor is praying that justice will be done and the vandals who have attacked his southwest Detroit church will stop. Well, it, it seems to be an epidemic of vandalism on this church. You see, St. Cyprian's is located in a very tough neighborhood, a place where holy icons mixed with barbed wire. And it was two weeks ago today that vandals stole 11 sections of the chain link fence that surrounds this church. Pastor Lutus was stunned. It is stealing from God and you ask the question, if, if people are bold enough to steal from a church, who will they not steal from? But as if that wasn't enough, just a few days ago it happened again for a second time. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, eyewitnesses saw two men stealing another 11 sections of the very same fence line from the church. It's anger, it's disgust, it's helplessness. Basically, that's, it's a, you, you cannot pay a security guard 24 hours a day to watch the fence. It is just ridiculous, and the saddest part of all of this is that we were all set to hand Pastor Lutus a check for $1,000 to pay the deductible to the church's insurance company, which would have made it possible to completely replace that stolen fence with a brand new one, and now this. Now church elders are afraid that vandals will simply steal a brand new fence if we dare to install it. Church elders are meeting next week. We'll tell you what they decide. As for the fence freaks, the guys who crooks, who, the crooks that stole this stuff, they're still on the loose. I'm Bill Spencer, the Call for Action Team. So frustrating, Bill. Thank